An awful lot of people like to fish for walleyes, but most people spend an awful lot of time fishing for panfish. Panfish are great to eat, and oftentimes it's what's biting. So people like to catch fish. It's no fun going fishing if you're not going to catch something. So I have a system that I use for locating panfish in the summertime. They're not up along the shoreline. Sometimes you got the weeds up there and you can't really get out where you want to be. So I do some looking along the deep break of the weed line. Use your locator to see where it is and fish just where the weeds are starting to dip down into that deeper water. I like to troll these little tiny jigs. I have uh, several different kinds here. Sometimes just a 16th ounce pink jig head with a, a white um, power bait tail on there is all you need. You can put a minnow on here if you want to. You can put a wax worm on there if you want to. Sometimes I'll use a, a gulp minnow, but right now I'm going to grab a wax worm and we're going to put that on. Also, to give me just a little bit more depth as the jig is awfully light and I'm going to be fishing in about 10, 8, 10 feet of water so I need something that's going to get me down just a little bit more. You know, most people don't think about trolling when you're talking about panfish, but I found that it can be pretty darn productive, especially for searching. You know, maybe not as your, your main system, but if you're looking for where the fish are, and you haven't found the ideal spot, trolling those edges for the panfish works very, very well. Not a monster, but remember, I'm looking for a place to fish. Once I've located the place where they're hanging out, I can fish for them any way that I want to. I'm Jerry Carlson. This is your Town Square Media Tip of the Week.